use the fundamental theorem of calculus to find dy dx. So in part A, we are given, we'll say y is equal to the definite integral from 1 to x of 1 by the natural log of t dt. And so, by the fundamental theorem, we want to go ahead now and differentiate both sides of this with respect to x. So, we're going to take what is given here and differentiate it. So, we'll differentiate, we'll take the d, dt, or d, dx, excuse me, of both sides. And keep in mind here that the fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that we can take this upper bound x and plug it into our function to replace t. So we have dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x by the fundamental theorem is 1 over the natural log of x multiplied by the derivative of that upper bound, so d dx of x, which of course just goes to 1. So that's 1 by the natural log of x multiplied by 1, and therefore dy dx is equal to 1 over the natural log of x. And that is our beautiful final answer. And so part B, here let's rewrite part B before we scroll down. We are given here in part B that y is equal to the definite integral of 8 to the natural exponential raised to the x squared of 1 over the natural log of t dt. And we want to apply the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the derivative. So we are taking our original equation here, y is equal to the definite integral from 8 to the natural exponential raised to the x squared of 1 over the natural log of t dt. And we want to take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. So we take the d dx of both sides. And again, remember the fundamental theorem of calculus is telling us we can take our upper bound and plug it into the function to replace t. Just don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the upper bound. So we have dy dx is equal to 1 divided by the natural logarithm of the natural exponential raised to the x squared, and this is all multiplied by the derivative of our upper bound. So that's d dx of the natural exponential raised to the x squared. And now notice here, we have some fun simplification. We have the natural logarithm of the natural exponential, which are inverses of each other. So they undo the effects of each other, leaving us with dy dx is equal to 1 over x squared, and this is multiplied by the derivative of the natural exponential. So that's 2x times the natural exponential raised to the x squared. And we can simplify even further. Right, we see the x in the numerator cancels with one of the x's in the denominator, leaving us with a beautiful final answer of 2 times the natural exponential raised to the x squared all over x. And remember, if you want, you can always double check the fundamental theorem of calculus by first evaluating the definite integral and then differentiating the results.